Hello, in this video we are going to speak about zero-width assertions in regular expressions. Surely you have already heard of look-arounds, red boundaries, or anchors. These are all examples of zero-width assertions. Why are they called zero-width assertions? Such constructs can match empty strings. Why are they assertions? They assert or require the presence or absence of some specific characters either on the right or on the left of the current location. Let's take anchors for example. They usually match either start or end of a string or a line. Word boundaries are also considered to be zero-width assertions. Word boundaries usually match locations at the beginning or at the end of a word. Look-aheads usually require some text to be present or absent immediately to the right of the current location and look behinds mean that there should be some pattern immediately to the left of the current location. Let's have a look at some examples. For example, we want to match he as a whole line. Here we are using the M option, M flag, which stands for multi-line. That's why the caret symbol and the dollar symbol match the start and end of any line correspondingly. So, he matches a whole line he, and you can see the match here. But if we want to match he as a whole word, we usually use word boundaries. And we match any he occurrence that is neither preceded nor followed with a word character. Look, we've got a match in he, but we don't have any match in the word the. Now let's see how unambiguous string boundaries work. If we use this example as a regular expression, we see no match, but we just need to remove all text in this window and use he as the only text in this field and we see there is a match. And now let's see how positive lookarounds work. So this pattern matches any i character that is immediately followed with the letter s that is followed with a word boundary location. And that's why we've got a match in is and we won't have a match in ish, for example. Now let's check a negative look ahead. This expression matches H that is not immediately followed with AT. So it won't match H in hat, but it will match H in V, in he, etc. Now let's see how positive look behinds work. For example, this pattern matches any H that is preceded, immediately preceded with uh, any ASCII letter. So it matches in the word the, but it's not matched in the word hat because it's immediately preceded with a white space. Now let's see how negative look behinds work. So this example matches any H that is not immediately preceded with a non-white space character. It just means that there must be a white space or start of string immediately before H. That's why we match H here. There is a new line right before it. We match this H in hat because there's a space right before hat. And we don't match any H in chat because here H is immediately preceded with a word character and it's not a white space character. So you can see that with zero-width assertions, we impose some specific context on the match. This is very, very helpful, especially when you want to fetch some specific text without the text that was matched within the zero-width assertion. When we speak about zero-width assertions, we also should understand the term consuming. Zero-width assertions are non-consuming patterns. When we say that a pattern is non-consuming, we mean that the text matched by this pattern is not added to the overall match memory buffer, 
and this text is not returned as part of the match value. Also, non-consuming patterns keep the regex index at the location where it was before trying the zero-width assertion pattern. And it also means that if you change several zero-width assertions at the same location in the pattern, they will be executed at the same location inside the stream. They will be executed at the current location, but one by one. This is why common uh, password checking patterns look like this. We are requiring at least one digit. We also require at least one letter. And we may also require some special characters of your choice. Just type any. And then we can require the length to be at least eight characters, for example. And just this is a common example of a password checking regex. And you see three separate looker heads that are chained at the beginning of the string. Well, zero width assertions are a very common regular expression topic, and you usually see them in many places. You can read more about uh, zero width assertions if you follow the links in the further links section. If you liked my video, please click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you for watching and happy regexing!